And here with the Two of Pentacles, in this Sagittarius ruled house in Aquarius, it's kind of like you're juggling between who are you and how are you going to live out that truth? How are you going to show it? How are you going to walk on that journey? And, well, what if I just show people what they want to see? Sort of this trickster, adaptable, easygoing kind of side of Gemini. Right, Gemini's kind of it's ruled by Mercury, so it has this quick nature to it. And it's an air sign dealing with thoughts and communication, this sense of learning and knowledge. So there's sort of this intellectual gain that Gemini gets where it's like you can kind of adapt easily and quickly to the way that society kind of wants you to be. And this is saying, is that the direction that you're going in? Or are you going to be who you truly are? Are you going to walk your true path, be your true self? So it's sort of this juggling between reality and adapting to society. It's kind of like, which way are you really going to go with this? And next, we have the Eight of Wands. And this is occurring in your 10th house, which is a Capricorn ruled house. The start of your 10th house makes up your Midheaven, which is the place of career, the place of opportunity, of success, of growth. This is your highest point. This is where you rise up to be. This is the higher status, the career opportunities. This is the physical gains. And this is occurring in Pisces for you. This house is in Pisces, which is not so much in tune with this physical dimension, right? Pisces is very intuitive. Pisces goes deep within. Pisces is dreamy. Pisces is sort of in this dream state, this place of illusion, this inner part of who you are. This deals with your subconscious and your unconscious. These layers of who you are that are sort of hidden deep within you. This is kind of the things that you don't necessarily see, but the things that you feel as Pisces is a very sensitive psychic sign. It's sort of the sense of clarity and awareness without actually knowing. And if we go back, it's the same thing that this card deals with here. This sense of intuition and knowing without actually physically seeing it, physically being aware of it. And here, in your 10th house, this is kind of like blocking your view, right? This is an obstacle. This is in your way. This is like, how do we see past this? How do we 
get through this. And with Pisces here, this is kind of what you are dealing with. And something that you will notice as you kind of go into 2019, starting the new year, especially here in the U.S., as you are going into January, is that most of the planets are going to be, are going to be in their home signs. So we're having all these planets in their home signs, all this balance and alignment occurring to bring you this new start, this fresh start, these opportunities. And with 2019 being a number three year, especially there is a sense of opportunity and of fresh new starts. And this is showing your fresh new start, right? You can kind of see through it, but there's something in your way. There's something stopping you. There's an obstacle. And a lot of this obstacle that you're dealing with is you. It's kind of you, like, needing to physically see the results versus just having this sense of intuition, this sense of knowing, this whole thing dealing with Pisces and Scorpio and even Cancer, this sense of awareness emotionally. And next, we have the Four of Swords. And if you are a Gemini rising, this is occurring in your 11th house. And the 11th house is an Aquarian ruled house. It deals with groups and organizations and friendships. And for you, this is, for you, this is in Aries. Aries dealing with what you are most passionate about, what you are sort of initiating, starting, moving forward with. And here it's kind of like you are sort of in this state of decision making, this state of thinking and questioning and figuring some things out. And this is where some support from your friends, from your groups, your organizations will help you. And lastly, in your 12th house, the 12th house is a Pisces ruled house. This is dealing with your dreams. This is dealing with this part of you that you are unaware of, but you can feel on an internal level. The things that you can sense. This is dealing with sort of this dream state. This is your un. This is your undoing. This is the ending process. This is sort of where you unravel yourself and you kind of see some of these insecurities, some of these deep feelings, these dreams, this sense of clarity that is found deep within you. And this is in Taurus for you. Your 12th house is in Taurus. And with this, 
this is sort of going along with this sense of needing stability, needing a foundation to sort of end things. And here, with the Two of Cups, you can see there's going to be some sort of completion, some sort of compromise, some sort of ending mm -hmm. to a process between two people. And with cups here, this could be dealing with a water sign, a cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces, some sort of ending of conflict, some sort of ending of a process, which again, with this extra card, this kind of confirms this sense of ending, this sense of completion. This is where some of these challenges some of these complications start to come to an end and you kind of end out with this sense of an ending, a completion, a celebration. And that is your January horoscope. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.